What is good friends, back with more SPL, this time Zoro Dark vs Solvent Black and Wet OU. Uh, turn 1, Zoro Dark got up his rocks as uh, Solvent switched into his uh, Ferrothorn. He doubled into Croak, I don't know what he anticipated there actually. Yeah, Zoro Dark is just gonna go for the fire move here. Um, the, the size, the, not size method, the Politoed is either um, uh, Leftovers or Scarf. He stays in his bulky Toxic Croak and he misses a Toxic, so that sucks a lot already early in the game. Um, there's a chance that this Volcarona is Lumberry, but that still definitely sucks. Especially if the chance he doesn't have Heal Bell. At least burning the Lumberry from the Volk would have been really nice for Solwind. Um, this Volk destroys Solwind pretty much uh, after Politoed goes down and Zorodark wins the Weather War. Uh, Zorodark is obviously going to switch into Chansey here. He's not gonna keep his Volk in. Uh, Thorwind should double here into like Toxic Croak to um, predict the Chansey and put some offensive pressure on Zorodark. And he will get a lot of health back from um, the ability from Toxic Croak and from the Black Sludge. Yep. Now, he does go for Toxic, well, okay. But like, Seismic Tossing there, I don't know of, about that play because it doesn't really do anything. He almost gets all the health back. Uh, Zorodark is pretty much forced out here, right? The thing is, how does he, how, what does he go to? Cresselia obviously um, walls it besides Sucker Punch. He goes Nine Tails, so it's a bulky Nine Tails probably. Um, I assume Willow was pretty nice play by Solvent going for Toxic. That covers the Crescent and Nine Tails. I assume the Nine Tails is now gonna go for Willow Wisp, and Solvent is gonna switch into his uh, Polyp Toad. So Willow Wisp was just nice chip since the Toad uh, didn't have left. He's just getting worn down. I don't know if there's uh, a chance that Scarf Toad can also run rest. But yeah, Zorak is just gonna go back to, to his chancy here. I don't see any reason for him to risk his weather feather in nine tails. That would just be a bad play risking your weather. Um like walk around the sun is just gonna destroy Solwin. So he doubles back in a croak predicting the chancy. Nice play again by Solwin. Now the thing is with this croak, it's toxic. Like I don't know if the fighting move it's gonna have is drain punch or focus punch. Uh, because if it's focus punch, it that means it cannot really touch the chancy. If the chancy goes for toss because then it would fail. Then it, it would be only be able to touch the chance if it has a sub up. Um, like it could have sub, but I'm actually not sure. So he goes for focus punch, but yeah, Zorda goes for a seismic toss. I don't know if he knew about that set or if he predicted um, a toxic from, from Solwyn's croak. Uh, he obviously would have been able to live a, a drain punch, but still, I think that was a bit risky. Now, he does go on the Ferrothorn. What did he anticipate there? He just uh, wants to get some chip damage to Iron Bobs. Now Solon can get up his rocks as uh, Zorodark brings the Ninetales out. And I think Zorodark should double here, predicting the either High Dragon or the, um, or the Polito to come out. What would be a good double for that? I guess Gen Z, but he doesn't have to. He can also just Wisp if he breaks the High Dragon. That works perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. So that, he didn't want to go to Polito there because it would have been at 36 after Rocks and we burn it would have been 24. So he does double into Drill here, anticipating the Chansey, I would assume. Now, uh, this could be a SD variant as Fortress comes out. It's a balloon, uh, balloon, so he has to break. He wants to spin to break the Drill's balloon so that he can trap it with a Dougie afterwards. And if he removes the spinner, that means um, Rocks are here to stay whenever he gets them back up. I, I don't know if he wants to risk going hard into Ducky on a rep. Oh my god, this guy is wild. Hard on the rapid spin. You ever saw rapid spin to 50, uh, 46 to something? Obviously, that, that works out for Zorodark, but that was super risky. Uh, so you can just go for off quick here with a Ducky and pick off the drill. Obviously, drill doesn't get any priority. It uh, has shown to be balloon, so it's not scarf. So Ducky is 100% faster. Off quick is going to trap the drill here and. So one can go into either uh, Zapdos or Hydreigon. Uh, both pretty much invite in the the Chansey, which is the thing. If the Chansey comes in, it gets rocks back up, and now rocks cannot be removed since uh, since the spinner is already dead. Uh, obviously, Defog is not a thing in Gen Five. Uh, Defog doesn't get rid of hazards in Gen Five. <laughs> I mean, Ferrothon, I guess. Ferrothon is probably the play here, right? Because Ferrothon is the one um, the one, one out of the three that he can go to between High Dragon, Zapdos, and Ferro. Ferro is the one one he can uh, go to that doesn't invite the Chansey in. Um, there's a chance that Ferro has knockoff and also Lichi the noise Chansey a lot. 
Uh, well, I mean, technically, Chansey can still come out on Pharaoh, but at least it's it's not like with High Dragon, where High Dragon just says, um, unless it's a superpower variant, uh, High Dragon just invites Chansey in pretty freely. And I don't think it's gonna be a superpower variant, actually. I mean, if he if he goes in the Toxic Croak, then he has to go for Sucker Punch. So I don't think that's the play, uh, because there's a sl slight chance that a Dougie will have a Substitute as well. I think that's used sometimes in black and white. So... Yeah, I would probably go to Pharaoh Thorn. You obviously don't want to go to your to Toad, right? Because um, you don't know. Yeah, exactly. You don't know the Dougie set confirmed. Like I don't think I don't know. Is Scarf Dougie a thing? Might be. So um, I assume Solomon is gonna go for Power Whip here. Uh, Zordak is gonna go into. I guess he could go Volk. Uh, Solomon could also get his rocks up. Yeah, I think Volk is a fine play here. Uh, just in case this Pharaoh has like knockoff and you don't want to risk a chance of getting knocked. And Volk coming in also means um, it's going to be a huge threat. Uh, if this Volcarona has like HP ice, it's going to be super scary. Um, because like, someone's weather set is almost dead, it comes out here. He's just going to fire dance, I assume. For he quiver dances, okay. That means he can actually eat up a uh, water move. If he quiver dances again, he can... Yeah, that was a, that was a fine play. Yeah, if he quiver dances again now, he's going to be able to eat up um, the water move. So he does go into Zapdos. But the thing is, in rain, he bug buzzes, okay. I thought he would quiver again there just to be able to take on the... The Polito's move, but he doesn't want to risk getting crit, so understandable. Just bug buzz. The thing is, if it's not HP ice, Volk the Zapdos beats it, and the Zapdos can fish for Parrot here. It's thunder. Uh, obviously, it's 100% accurate in the rain. We see the Lumberry uh, goes off there. Lumberry would have already been gone, um, and I don't think Thorodak should stay in here because um, obviously he has Luna Dance to bring this Volcarona back. But like. Thunder is obviously 100% accurate in rain, and it's a 30% chance to get the para. And if he doesn't have HP eyes. He cannot even touch the Zapdos that well. So if he doesn't have HP he definitely shouldn't stay in here. He should just go to Chansey and like get his rocks up, in my opinion. But he sets up and he risks it. Um, yeah, like I said, he does have that Lunar Dance from Crest. But I still think this is not... This is not the turn to set up. Also, why did he quiver again? I think he should have just attacked, right? Um, so it's attacking... So it's Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, Bug Buzz. Um, so if the last move is HP Ice, he should go for that. He doesn't have it, okay. He just has Fire Dance and it has absolutely nothing. And there's the para. I mean, that was gonna happen. I just... Like, I just don't like that he set up the Volk on the Zapdos. Um, but to be fair, I don't think... Like, it might not matter in the long run because... It's looking like Chansey... Um, if if uh, Zorda can get rid of the Ferrothorn, it's looking like Chansey can solo Solwyn's team. Um, because the Chansey probably doesn't have healable. Um, it's probably the rocks, softball, seismic toss, toxic chancy. Um, like the the Volk had Lum, and this is not like a like a full stall team. Like it's a team based around Volk sweeping. That's how I would call it. Um, that's probably a better term for that. But like, pretty much on a team like this, I don't expect heal build chancy, which means it probably has toxic. And if it uh, like it pretty much beats it beats everything when we won. Like Zapdos cannot um, stall out the. Seismic tosses. He got paralyzed twice there. So the Zapdos is Thunder Roost. I don't know the other slots in yet. There's the Chansey finally. Uh, Zorak now has to go for Softball. Obviously, he saved his Volt because he can still Luna Dance that. Still completely don't like how he played that um, the last few turns. He goes on the Croak, anticipating the Softball. And now I think Thorin is just gonna go for like a Toxic. Or uh, he doubles in the Pharaoh, okay. Mm. So, okay, that means. Um, that means. He doesn't, uh, besides Focus Punch, he doesn't have a move to hit the Chansey. That's why he switched out. And now he can just go for Leech Sheet here with the, with the thing, is what I thought, but no, he doesn't. Um, I'm super surprised by Zordak staying in with the Chansey. Because if the um, Pharaoh stayed in there, he would have taken Iron Barbs. And he also, ooh, he does sub that can, ooh, that can stop the Toxic. Um, Zordak didn't go for Toxic, which means he might have, uh, he might bluff not having it. Ooh, that was. That was played really well by Zordark. Um, like the turns before, I think he played really shaky, but now he made up for it with a fire play. Seismic tossing. I don't know if um, sub does is standard since I don't play black white that much, but um, I, I don't play black white at all. Not that much. I just don't play it. But I know a bit from watching tour games. Yeah. But I didn't know about sub does if that's like common. Like I've used that set myself in like Gen 6 or Gen 7, but I, I didn't know if it's like a thing. So it's. Sub Ruth Thunder Zapdos. Where's the last move on that Toxic? Or like is it H Hidden Power? I don't know. But yeah, now um 
I think he should have softballed there just to have his chance he healthy. Well, he should have gotten his rocks up. Wait, he did not go for rocks for some reason. Rocks was super free there. Sorwin has no hazard control anymore. Um, if Ferrothon comes out like it did, he would have not taken Iron Barb. So like, I think rocks would have been the play there uh, instead of going for Estos. Now, if Sorwin has Leech Sheet, he can go for that or he could... Um, yeah, Chansey's on time. Moveset is confirmed now. Like obviously he need, he wants health on Faro because if Faro Thorn goes down, I think the Chansey, like I said earlier, I think the Chansey just solos uh, because the Croak only has Focus Punch and Toxic to hit it, and Focus Punch doesn't work unless the Croak gets up a Thub. So the other moves on the Croak would be Sucker Punch and then either Thub or Ice Punch. So he does just sack the Volcarona, so the chance to um, Luna Dance that back is gone as Soul gets his Croak back healthy. Now he can. Uh, Go into Duggy here, or he can go into his Chansey, I guess. The thing is, if he, if he goes into Duggy, I think that confirms that he would have Substitute, because otherwise he wouldn't go uh, risking. Like, if he goes Duggy, I guess he can also, if he doesn't have Sub, he could then double out, scouting for Sucker Punch. So, there's, those are the two options he has. He does go Duggy. So, he either Sub here, or he switch out, because uh, if this has Sucker, this was, like... And you don't have sub, then then you should scout. Otherwise, it's a really bad play, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, if Solon has Saka, he's obviously gonna click it. I don't think he's gonna. Huh? Oh, I have seen a sub ducky in, in, in two game I've recorded before, so. But I, I don't know. I don't know how common it is, but I know it's a thing. Hmm. But like the rock went into this, so yeah, I was gonna say like. He has to have sub, right? Because he went into Duggy on a croak. Unless he would have doubled back, that would have been really weird. Now he can just off quick to pick off the croak. And if now he just has to get rid of the Pharaoh and chance he wins the game. So Toad comes out here. Um, confirming that it's probably Scarf Toad, because otherwise he would obviously be slower than the Duggy. I don't even know Poly Toad's base speed, but I assume it's outspeeds a non Scarf Duggy. He serves, there's nothing. Chansey goes for softball here. Uh, obviously, Burn is does 12% in his gen. This is not gen 7, so it does a lot. Toad is getting chip. Um, now, if he doesn't have like superpower in his high dragon, his only play is probably going. If if Pharaoh can still take two seismic tosses, then Pharaoh might be the play here. But yeah, Zordak should always just go for softball to uh, have his Chansey healthy. Because Chansey pretty much wins. Uh, it is unfortunate, but I will probably I have to put Chansey in the thumbnail. <laughs> And yeah, there's another black and white OU game uh, later, which I'm gonna try to catch alive. I think it's Funk. Was it Funk versus Aloden? I don't really know. I don't also, I also like, I'm not super familiar with all the black and white players. It's gonna be nice for me to see some newer black and white players. Like, new to me. They're not new to the game, but they're new to me because I have not uh, seen them play. I have only been following SPL since, like, I only followed last year's SPL. I have not been following SPL before that, besides some uploads that AIM or Blunder did. The softball is always the play. Sowen is thinking if he has any chance to win this game. I don't think he does have. Even though Zor Dark messed up with his Volk, um, Volk could have probably swept after, especially after, like if he would have been a bit more patient and not set it up on a Zapdos that can para him, then uh, Volk could have definitely won, especially if he got rid of the, the Toad. And then if the Sun is up, Zapdos doesn't wall it anymore and then it would have been completely over as well. But... Yeah, I mean, Zapdos is toxic, so Zapdos is not really an option here to go out into her dragon. If it doesn't have superpower, it's not an option. Uh, so the only other option would be Pharothorn, but I don't remember if it's in range from Twitk or from Estos. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for Softbolt here. So Pharothorn should be the play, because he's never gonna Estos here. And then next turn he can maybe go for Leech Sheet, something like that. Yeah, let's go Pharo. Um Yeah, I think... Seismic also with Twitch here. That's why Thorman was taking that long because he didn't, was thinking if Zorodak would go for that. But Zorodak would have had his chance super low. There was no way he was going to Estos that turn. He sacks his Duggy to assume Power Whip here. <laughs> and now he can go into his Nine Tails or his. Uh... Wait. He, he still didn't get up rocks though. I'm, I'm super surprised. <laughs> Nine Tails? Yeah, Nine Tails comes out. And. Do you just click the fire move here? Like, I would assume this runs like Flamethrower. Toad is at 73, so Toad might die to Fire Move plus Burn Chip. Uh, yeah, Thorman is probably gonna go Hydreigon here. 
Uh, if Zorak has... Yeah, Zorak can Wisp here, predicting the Hydreigon. That's a fine play. He... It doesn't matter too much what he does. Yeah, Wisp is, Wisp is actually a fine play. Oh, if he has Rest, he can maybe go for that. He doubles in the chance he breaking the Hydreigon. Um... Uh, the Hydreigon is already burned. Oh, my bad. I forgot about that. So he burned it early in the game already. I have recorded, like, already four or three SPL games today. So, like, I guess... No, nah, I'm not gonna make any excuses. I just I just forgot that the Hydreigon was already burned. But, yeah, just just letting you know. Yeah, if you guys uh, like the Smash the Like button, I'm really putting in the work here. Um, the, the weekend is gonna be crazy. There's gonna be even more games. I hope it's gonna be... Like, I'm gonna get th enough sleep in between those, all those games and, like... I also got like some some other work to do over the week, but it's it's not that much. I should be able to record most of the games, and on Sunday if there's multiple games I already mentioned it, I'm gonna try to get a second, my secondary laptop. Um, that I got some like I borrowed it someone. Um, I can then record two games at the same time, which is pretty cool. And then if there's two games at the same time, then I can re-narrate a game that I missed or send it to a friend and to re-narrate it. So he goes Crest. Is he gonna Luna Dance or is he? Oh, he could be HP Fire, I guess. Um, because it's Sun Booster, then it would blow the Ferrothorn away. Um, but yeah, I don't think it matters because... Um, obviously, he, he goes on the Polytoad here. I don't know if he scouted for HP Fire, but that is definitely HP Fire. Uh, doing 3% in the rain to Toto, dies to burn. Now he goes Hydra, and... If he... Um, he can sack his Ninetales, I don't think he needs that. Now, he, I guess Ninetales is nice. Yeah, okay, sex it. So he gets the sun up, and the rain is never gonna go up again. And yeah, if he still had his Volk around now, Volk would also win the game if it ever sets up on like Feral Thorn. But yeah, obviously, Chansey comes out here. Chansey clicks Softball to be back at full. So when he's going for the flinch, he kinda, is, um, kinda has to go for Hex, I guess. Now, he could have also gone the Feral Thorn there, but I don't think it matters. So Toss is gonna come out here. And. If Feral, does Feral not have Leech Sheet? And what did it show? Power up, spikes, rocks. Did it show rocks, right? I think it did. Goes in the Crest. Um, so he just wanted to get the weather back, and now Crest can exactly pick off the Feral with HP Fire. And the uh, Dragon comes out here. It doesn't matter what Zordak does, he sacks the Fortress, and Chansey is just gonna win the game. Uh, he can just click Softball on the High Dragon. And Zapdos is t poison, so the game is over. So Solvent uh, is gonna forfeit here, most likely. He says GG. And thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more, mainly Sun and Moon OU games, some Auras OU, some Black and White OU, and yeah, a DPP AV. I don't really know about those tiers, but yeah, if you guys uh, want to help me out and you know DPP uh, ADV, hit me up if you're on my Discord or like hit me up in the comments if I like. Maybe I'll like. Yeah, that would be nice if you guys could help me out. Have a fantastic day and goodbye, friends.